strong earthquake has rattled and damaged Taiwan. The 7.4 magnitude quake has caused some buildings to collapse. Douglas Hsu is the representative of the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office here in Canberra. He joins us now in the studio. Douglas, welcome. What's the latest you're hearing from home on, on critical measures like deaths, injuries and, and destruction? Oh, thank you very much, Greg. Uh, indeed, this uh, was the uh, well, strongest earthquake that we've experienced in the past uh, 25 years. So as of now, we've heard that there are four people passed away because of the earthquake, and there are about 57 injuries that have been reported as of now. And uh, there are many buildings uh, tilting already, uh, about four buildings collapsed. Uh, among others, uh, the highway uh, in the East Coast uh, is damaged and there are landslides as well. So uh, the situation is devastating. And so how geographically spread are these reports of damage or, or even injuries? Are they quite confined or, or covering much of the East Coast? Uh, because the center of the quake is the uh, at the uh, uh, well east coast outside the uh, uh, the uh, east coast, uh, so the uh, area that been damaged most is the east coast part of Taiwan, uh, a city called Hualien, and also inside Taipei City, uh, we also heard some damage because there was a, a metro line uh, that's been suspended uh, for a safety reason. And this is all in the context of a, a country with quite high and strong engineering and structural design standards. So mm -hmm. uh, what does that tell us that damage has been inflicted with, you know, with a 7.4 magnitude? Obviously, it's testing the limits of, of design. Yeah, well, uh, if you recall that 25 years ago, in the year of 1999, we experienced the uh, strongest earthquake that has been uh, recorded in Taiwan's uh, history. So after that, the government have done a lot of things to upgrade the uh, safety regulation of the building. Mm. So, for example, those uh, uh, high-rise buildings uh, in Taipei City, uh, those uh, buildings were built after that uh, regulation update. So uh, if you can uh, see that the uh, Taipei 101 well, used to be the tallest building in the world, uh, still uh, standing uh, strong. Okay, well that's yeah. uh, something to take consolation Definitely. from. Now what about the emergency response? What sort of uh, forces have been mobilised domestically to deal with the clean-up, the repairs and the damage? Yes, indeed. Right after the earthquake happened, uh, the President already called for the uh, establishment of the uh, uh, disaster response centre. So uh, now all the uh, 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 local uh, fire agencies and firefighters, they are in charge of those uh, rescue uh, efforts. So uh, we also uh, notify those, uh, uh, we are notified of those uh, uh, military personnel, some of the military personnel also get involved with this rescue effort. What about the restoration of power, water and other critical supplies? Mm -hmm. Is that likely to take some time? Well, the whole of society resilience has been a big issue in Taiwan in the past few years. So fortunately, uh, after the uh, uh, earthquake, we did uh, hear uh, there were some power outage, but we are in the uh, well, process of uh, get everybody's, uh, well, have powers. It sounds like quite a, a measured response in some ways. While devastating, you're almost indicating the country will take it in its stride. What does that indicate? To strong preparation and planning, I guess. Well, every uh, year uh, on September 21st, uh, we have that day, uh, National Disaster Relief Day. So every year we have a, a preparation, we have drills uh, of, for those uh, firefighters, rescue teams. Uh, we not only do it by ourselves, but we collaborate with other countries like Japan uh, to, uh, well, betterment our effort. And so in this case, might it be necessary to call in international partners with assets or personnel, Japan, you know, for argument's sake, even Australia or other countries abroad? Yeah, well, Japan, uh, I think the Prime Minister already offers to uh, uh, provide assistance. But as of now, I think my government can handle this uh, earthquake uh, well. But uh, we really appreciate all the uh, prayers and thoughts from uh, friends around the world, including Australia.